Right, Ophiosis, I want to say welcome and thank you for being here. Um, this is the Sagittarius in readings. Um, please remember that this reading is from the 21st until the 9th of February. It is your best money and wealth reading. Um, and it is for between the 21st and the 9th of April. This is the every season. And as we go through every season, we are looking at what our business money and wealth is looking like for us. What are the obstacles? That sort of a thing. All right. So Ophiosis, I do um, want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing. I want you to advise people who were born November 29th until December 17th. They are Ophiosis. They get a totally different reading from the Sagittarians. Um, uh, for a very long time, um, you guys thought that you were Sagittarian. No, you are the 13th sign. But people think that the number 13 wasn't good. And that's why you guys don't know. So find out people who were born November 29th till uh, December 17th, you are Ophiosis and not Sagittarians. All right. Okay. So I see, as we say, Sagittarians, that a lot of you Ophiosis are dealing with a Sagittarian woman and a whole lot of conflicts between a Sagittarian woman and a Capricorn woman. So a lot of you are going to be getting caught up in a conflict between a Sagittarian woman and a Capricorn woman. So a lot of you on the work floor, be aware, whether it's in work or business, be aware. Um, the Sagittarian woman is not speaking the truth. And a lot of you, Ophiosis, is going to be um, seeing email and data and recognize that the Sagittarian woman is not speaking the truth. And I see that the Capricorn is facing whatever is going on. The Capricorn is not turning a uh, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is not turning their back. So some of you could be having a Sagittarian woman that is your boss. And this Sagittarian woman that is your boss is not speaking the truth. And some of you are having a problem with a Sagittarian in a group and your boss is going to be recognizing the Sagittarian is not speaking the truth. So there is the battle between the Sagittarian and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian and the Leah has not been speaking the truth. So a whole lot of you are going to be co um, being connected in a, um, a situation that is going on where a conflicts and a chaos on the work floor between a Sagittarian and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian have not spoken the truth. And they're going to be finding um, documentation and information that the Sagittarian woman have um, and uh, um, is lying. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go in this, ladies and gentlemen. So the first week you are dealing with... Uh, um, this lady and this lady um, is um, the uh, water of uh, uh, water of fire, water of fire. OK, whoever this person is, is water of fire. Now, this energy of this water with fire, this is an air sign person. It is coming up as a Sagittarian or a Leo water of fire. And some of you are going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian uh, or a Leo have some sort of a document that is not theirs or you're going to be finding out by looking through their email um, that they have data and information and documentation that is not theirs. So I see you Ophiosis. I don't know if someone um, is, you know, you're the manager of two people that has been having some sort of an issue and you're looking at their data and it could be that someone who had applied for a job or an head on to that brought in a Sagittarian or a Leo, they're going to be recognizing that this is not their um, CV, that the experience and the skill on the CV is not theirs. A Sagittarian could have changed the data and the data is actually for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So I see you Ophiosis is looking at uh, the same information on a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and is going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian has used a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, CV to give a Leo a chance in a company or a corporation. So whoever the Sagittarian is, uh, whether it, you know, it is a personal officer or, 
whoever the Sagittarian is, it is coming out as a third party from outside of your company. So this could be an head hunter. So whoever this head hunter is, create um, a CV that was based on the data and information of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And you, Ophiosis, is now looking at the details and recognize it is not the Leo information or it is not the Sagittarian information. It is the information of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So I see a lot of you in this week is going to be really getting back and said, listen, I'm looking at this detail and this, because we recognize that this person is not um they're they're not performing and you send this person to us but what is on their cv is as if uh, their skill and knowledge is not uh, compared to what is on their cv and i've been looking back and i recognize that a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person who used to work in this company or is in our system have the same data and information so i see that you ophiosis is going to be really standing your ground and it's going to be say no um, no, we're not going to be taking this person. We're not going to be keeping this person any longer because, um, their skill and knowledge is not to what? And this data doesn't belong to these, this person. We recognize that someone who it was in and um, working in one of our corporation and the data in the system is for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and it's ex ex exactly the same thing. So I see you, Ophiosis is getting to whoever this person is and it's like an ed hunter or whoever this department ed is or whoever comes in and um, sending someone in your corporation that is not the person details. And some of you could have had someone who came in under the documentation of someone else. And I see you are looking and recognizing that a Sagittarian person has not been honest. And a lot of you, Ophiosis, is going to be standing your ground. All right, let's look at the second week. The second week has to do with... Uh, um, the um, 29th until the 4th, 29th until the 4th, and we have the 8 of Wands. Now, the energy of the 8 of Wands has to do um, with Mercury in Sagittarius. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, I've been saying that you're dealing with a Sagittarian. Mercury in Sagittarius is about data and documentation from a Sagittarian is not correct, okay? Some sort of a communication or some sort of a documentation because when we see the one's energy, it's about documentation of a Sagittarian, of what a Sagittarian had given in is not correct because there it is in the reverse. So a lot of you, Ophiosis, is recognizing that a Sagittarian could have changed some sort of a documentation and this is coming up in the week of the 29th until the 4th that you guys are recognizing that a Sagittarian have changed some sort of a data um, and the data was for the original person for this data is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. And this is like a woman 50 years and older. And this Sagittarian person, the data what they gave to you and send someone in your company is not the correct data for this person. This person was under and working under a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, a CV. Um, so what this lady did was to copy um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn information and data and recreate it for a Leo. And a lot of you, Ophiosis, is going to be seeing this and recognizing because you're comparing the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person information. And it could be that this lady called in and said, hey, listen, I think that my data is being um, used and... Uh, um, this lady could have had some sort of a digital um, situation to alert her about when her references and her CV is accessed. And she's going to say, hey, my CV and information was accessed and someone else is using it. And you, Ophiosis, um, listened to this person and went to recognize that, yes, a Leo is using a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn information in order to get some sort of a stability and status in a corporation institution. And the person who has access and changed this data um, is a Sagittarian, Mercury in Sagittarian. And you recognize that the Sagittarian um, could be a manager or someone 
uh, the Sagittarian got this Leo in this company by using someone else, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, CV and information and data. Okay, so this is like identity theft. So whether it's a their information and data, it's coming out and you Ophiosos are really going to be seeing um, Jesus, this person information was copied. This older person is, is this older person information. The older Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is their information. And I see that there, this could be a conflict that has been going on a very long time. And people said, will step back and start to look in at the data and information and recognize that it's a copy, it's a clown of a Taurus, Virgo, or um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, CV, and information. So it is a form of identity theft that a Sagittarian have copied data and information of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person in order to get a Sagittarian in a company work permit or in a company by using this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn information. Now, this is really a criminal offense. So how are we going to be dealing with this is going to be the other situation. We're moving forward to the third week. The third week is the week of the 5th until the 11th. Now, what we see, we come until the 5th of the 11th, we see the 5 of Wands, a whole lot of conflicts. Saturn in Leo. Saturn in Leo, a whole lot of conflicts because people now in the third week recognize that a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or a manager was right that some sort of a work permit details information identity of someone else was copied. So here is where people in the week of April 5th to April 11th is recognizing. Oh my God, the Sagittarian is the one that was last accessed this data and information. And it is really a Capricorn information. So it's people are going to be recognizing that a Leo was working on their Capricorn information. A Leo was using a Capricorn um, skill and knowledge the set, the CV and the skill and knowledge information of this Capricorn to get in a corporation institution. And some of you are going to be recognizing that the identity of a Capricorn person was called, um, of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person because Saturn has and managed the Capricorn. So Saturn in Leo is that, um, the Capricorn as recognized that Aaliyah was using their data. And a lot of people are now going to be seeing the truth that a Sagittarian was the one that copied the Capricorn um, identity and data and CV and every document and gave to Leo. Oh my God. So a lot of you are going to be really getting to the bottom and resolving this and it's going to be holding on, on the Sagittarian for what they have done because you recognize that whoever this head hunter is and whoever the Sagittarian is have uh, used someone else's documentation in order to get someone in a country, in a company and a work permit and you or Ophiosus could be Either you are the um, personal officer or you're working in some sort of a government institution that you're investigating um, because you recognize that, that this data and information was cloned and you officers are going to get to the bottom of it. And I see a whole lot of conflicts and you're going to be recognizing Jesus, this Sagittarian as clone and copy documentation of people and was bringing people in my corporation or bringing people in my company and organization using other people data and information and these people were blocked so i see as the you opiosis is going to be standing your ground against a sagittarian and removing a leo out of your corporation because of this and you're going to be making some sort of a changes and making sure that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person regained their stability because people were, um, uh, people had cloned this person's CV or uh, identity and you are now going to be bringing it back in balance. So I see, um, you Ophios is really standing your ground and said, Jesus, why would this woman do, do something like this? Uh, you know, you have lose your faith and trust in this company, this outside company to give you the proper, um, 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 people 
for the right position because you recognize that a lot of uh, the data and information was not true because this woman has been pre-quoting and using other people information so thank god this is going to give you a lot of you a management position moving in the fourth week so in the fourth week of the 12 um until the the 19 the 12th of april until the 19 a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a management position because you recognize and you show up that a Sagittarian has falsified data and documentation of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person that is going to be giving you some sort of a management position that you have recognized this and caught this on time. So this is going to be a really powerful um, time for you, Ophiosis, because you, Ophiosis, is bringing back balance to a situation where Whoever this head hunter is or um, this person that has a falsify work permit documentation in order to get people um, and use a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, you're going to be getting some sort of a promotion and you're going to be making sure that this Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person information is reinstated and you're going to be getting rid of the Leo because you recognize the foul play that has transpired. All right, ladies and gentlemen, use the link below in order to choose um, one of these symbols to see how it is going to be working out. It's going to be very good. Ophiosus Expecto. This is going to be giving you some sort of a management position moving forward. This is going to be good. I do love you guys. Thumbs up. I hope to see you for the monthly reading. Namaste until next time.